In this example, we want to find the derivative of g of x equal to uh, 3x squared minus 1, all divided by 2x plus 5, and all raised to the third power. Okay, so um, in order to do this, we're going to apply the um, uh, we're going to apply the general power rule, which is what you see in this box here. Okay. All right. So first, uh, we're going to bring down the three. Okay. So we have g prime of x equal to three times three x squared minus one, all divided by two x plus five, raised to the second power. Okay. And then we need to take the derivative of 3x squared minus 1 over 2x plus 5. Okay. All right. So uh, we're going to have to apply the quotient rule here. Okay. Okay, so let's do that. Um, let's do that down here. Okay, so we'll do the we'll do that part first, and then we'll just substitute back into the uh, into the derivative of g. Okay, so we have the derivative of three x squared minus one over two x plus five. Okay, so we're going to take uh, the derivative of the top part, okay? Times the bottom minus the derivative of the of the bottom times the top. And all this is going to be divided by 2x plus 5 squared. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and simplify this. Uh, we're going to get for, for 3x squared minus 1, the derivative is going to be 6x. So we have 6x times 2x plus 5 minus the derivative of 2x plus 5. That's going to give us 2. So it's going to be multiplied by 3x squared minus 1. And all this is divided by 2x plus 5 squared. Okay. So then, uh, from here, okay, we can go ahead and simplify this. Okay. So we're going to get, let's see, we're going to get 12x squared on top, so we have 12x squared. So just distributing the 6x to the 2x plus 5. All right, so we have 12x squared plus uh, 30x, okay, minus 6x squared, and then plus 2. And all that's divided by 2x plus 5 squared. Okay. Okay, so then from here, Okay, we're going to get, uh, we can combine like terms, so we're going to get uh, 6x squared plus 30x. Plus 2. Okay, and all divided by 2x plus 5 squared. Okay, so all that, okay, right, this whole expression Okay, it's going to be plugged into here. All right. So our result is that we get, okay, we have g prime of x equals to three times three x squared minus one over two x plus five to the power two times 
6x squared plus 30x plus 2 divided by 2x plus 5 squared. Okay. And then this will give us uh, 3x squared minus 1. Okay. Squared. Okay, so we can actually rewrite it like this. So what I'm going to do is uh, we have 2x plus 5 and 2x plus 5 squared in the denominator. So we can rewrite it like this. We have uh, 3 times uh, 3x squared minus 1 to the power 2 times 6x squared plus 30x plus 2 all divided by okay, 2x plus 5 to the power 3. Oh, actually, let's see, that's squared. So 2x, uh, 2x plus 5 squared times 2x plus 5 squared. So that's actually going to be 2x plus 5 to the power 4. Okay. So that is, your, uh, that is our derivative uh, for the function. Okay. So again, uh, we take care of the outside power first, and then we take the derivative of the inside. Okay. So uh, sometimes you may have to use the quotient rule or the product rule. Okay. Uh, combined with the chain rule, okay, like as in this example here, okay.